Chris, I'm going to take you back to the Col de la Colombia, a crucial moment of today's stage when moves were going down the road. You were with Richie, you talked to each other. What did you say? I can't remember exactly what I said at that point. Um, but, I mean, it was everyone knew it was going to be a really aggressive day of racing. And <clears throat> for us, we weren't here to try and protect second place. We wanted to race for the win today. Um, so we put all the cards on the table, and I, I think that's exactly what we did as a team. And um, I think even though it didn't pay off in the end, I think we've got to be happy with that. And when you went across on the Col de la Colombia, you went across to the bigger group up the road. Did you think you were winning the Dauphiné at that point? It, it looked as though you were in a great position. I mean, I think at one point I was close to being in the virtual yellow jersey, but um, I think I'd, I'd done so much work earlier on to try and set, set up that situation that when I got to the final climb, I, I didn't have much left, unfortunately. And Richie was a bit upset that he didn't get more help today. You didn't get much help either, but is he entitled to feel aggrieved? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I mean I've, I've been in that situation myself a lot of times, and that's when uh, the weight of having the yellow jersey obviously really falls on your shoulders and you feel as if the whole world's out to get you. So, I mean, that's, that's part of bike racing. And how's your morale gauge sort of evolved over the week? Chris, are you happier at the end of the week than you were at the start? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, if, if I look at where I was a few weeks ago at the Tour of Romandy, um, I seem to be a long way off the pace. Um, here, I feel as if I've, I've got better and better in the week, and I, at least I'm heading in the right direction. I, I feel as if I'm on track for July. Thanks, Chris. Thanks. Have you changed something? Not win, uh, not win the Dauphiné. What's that? Do not win today the Dauphiné. Have yeah. you changed something? No. Compared to the last years, no. No. No difference? No. Because you attacked on every every single climb out there today. Was it part of the game plan to make it as aggressive as possible and isolate yeah. Richie? Yeah, yeah, I think. I mean, I was like I said, I was here to try and race for the win, uh, not to defend second place. If I was trying to defend second place, I would have been a lot more conservative and just wait for the last climb and follow Jakob and Aru. But uh, that wasn't the plan today. I wanted to try and race for the win, and I think that's, that's what we tried to do as a team. It didn't pay off, but... I'm happy, happy with that anyway. I think I came here looking for a, a hard week of racing. I only had 19 days uh, race yeah, start before the Dauphiné, so I'm really light on racing. I came here looking for a hard week of racing, and that's exactly what I got. So hopefully this will move me on now as well in terms of preparations for July. With the outcome of today and Richie moving out of yellow, does this give you any kind of psychological edge ahead of July? Oh, I mean, I don't think so. I, I still. Far and above, I'd say Richie was the strongest man in this race. He, he did get caught out tactically today. His team got caught out tactically today. Um, but I, I still say that he's, he's the favourite for July and uh, the strongest rider at, uh, in the peloton at, at this point. You say tactically, was it tactics that, got, that they got wrong or was it just their, their strength and depth that was wrong today? Good question. I have to ask them that. I don't know what their tactics were.